Welcome to He Paw with special guests, recording television and movie star Mel Tillis, one of country music's brightest new stars, George Strait, and He Haw's very own million dollar band, and starring Buck Owens and Roy Clark. Campbell, Grandpa Jones, Minnie Pearl, Gordy Tapp, Camilla Hutton, Don Heron, Misty Rowe, Gaylord Sartain, Lulu Roman, Kenny Price, Lisa Todd, George Lindsay, Marianne Rogers, Jim and John Hager, Ronnie Stoneman, Linda Jenner, Kelly Billingsley, Victoria Hallman, Jeff Smith, Erlene Mandrell, Jackie Phelps, Jackie Waddell, The Nashville Edition, The Buckaroos, Rodney Lay, Wild West and Fancy, Charlie McCoy and the Hee Haw Band, Dub Taylor, Shotgun Red, Kathy Baker and Buford. How on the hilltop down the dell. Hee Haw's here, so rest a spell. Take time out for laughing a song. Here we go, so come along. There you go, buddy. Our soup of the jar. Well, wait a minute. You got your thumb in my soup. Oh, that's okay. It ain't all that hot. Well, I don't care. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> hey. well, excuse me, buddy. You need a little help with that soup there? No, I don't need any help. What makes you think I need help? Well, for more of them sounds you was making. I thought you might want to be dragged ashore. <laughs> now here's Buck Owens, our surprise guest, Stan Freeze, the whole Hee Haw gang, and we're going to sing Truck Driving Man. <laughs> There's a little place called Hamburg Den And I heard that old jukebox playing Was a song about a truck driving man Everybody pour me another cup of coffee For it is the best in the land Then I'll put a nickel in the jukebox And play the truck driving man Here's Ronnie! With me, cause I'm a truck driving man. Pour me another cup of coffee, for it is the best in the land. Yeah, I'll put a nickel in the jukebox and play the truck driving man. Arms Hotel. I'll pay my bill. I'm checking out. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, pardon me, sir. How many of those cigars do you smoke in a day? Oh, about ten. Why? Well, how much do they cost? Two dollars a piece. How long have you been smoking them? About thirty years. Let's see. Thirty years, twenty dollars a day. That's a lot of money. <laughs> yes, it is. You see that office building across the street? Yeah. Do you know if you never smoked that you could own that building? Really? Mm -hmm. Do you smoke? No, never did. Do you own that building? Nope. I do.
Thornfield County Operator Assistance. Can I help you? Oh, hi, Arlene. This is Misty. Oh, hi, Misty. What can I do for you? Well, I want to place a long-distance call to France. You mean French France? Yes. You see, I met this fellow in Paris, and he's a masseur. No, no, Misty. The men in France are monsieur. Oh, yes, I know that, Arlene. But this monsieur is a masseur. No, Misty, a masseur is a man who pinches you and squeezes you and massages you all over. Oh, I know. That's the fellow I met in Paris. <laughs> Here's movie star, television star, and record star, Mel Tillis. Now and then an old friend tries to help me. But I don't have the heart to start all over Cause my heart is laying at another's feet You just don't put new patches on your garments Just don't need nobody new to cling to Cause I still love someone I've known a long, long time Sugar. Virgil William drove me to the hunting grounds last night. Hunting grounds? Mm. Well, ain't, ain't that kind of dangerous? Oh, it sure is. We nearly got shot. Shot? Yeah. A bullet whizzed through the driver's window and out the passenger's window before we even knew what happened. Well, I guess you're lucky you weren't killed. We were really lucky we were in the back seat at the time. <laughs> well, Virgil ain't gonna be so lucky this time. Where's my gun? You know, old Buford there's beginning to cost more than he's worth. Well, why don't you just feed him on grits? I don't think old Buford would eat grits, Grandpa. Well, mine wouldn't either for the first three weeks. I got so hungry. I even considered eating at Lulu's truck stop. Hee-haw, 
salutes the town with the number, home of Lois Withrow and 84 Lumber, celebrating its 101st year. 84 Pennsylvania, population 8,412. Salute! And now, children, if I can have your kind attention, please. We're going to take up the word geometry. G-E-O-M-E-T-R-Y. You might think of uh, mathematics, but that's not it at all. It's something you might hear in the woods, like uh, if a little acorn grows up, it might say, gee, I'm a tree. <laughs> <laughs> P-U, that stands for poor utterances. <laughs> Why even in my little seedless grape? Now, I want you to remember not to be swayed by these money-hungry young men who come courting you and be cautious that one of them doesn't kiss you unexpectedly. Oh, Colonel Daddy, don't you worry. I have never been kissed unexpectedly, only sooner than I expected. Oh. <laughs> Here's country music's male vocalist of the year, George Strait. Tillis, 
You said his loving was the real thing. Well, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I'd found true love. You met another and you are gone. <laughs> you so silly. <laughs> Column, Miss Honeydew. Heard at Elvira O'Beary and Jed Stewart's wedding last week. When Jed told Elvira he'd give her all his worldly goods, Jed's pappy said, Oh, uh -oh there goes Jed's slingshot. <laughs> oh, goodness, here, speaking of foolish, here comes Maynard Snagglehead. Hi. Come in, Maynard. Hi, Miss Minnie. Hi, Miss Honey. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Blood I've come to place an ad for my very own personal self. I'm driving to Chattanooga, and I want to advertise for someone to share the trip and expenses with me. All right. Now, let's see now. Chattanooga. Uh, uh, C-H-A-T. Uh, uh, Maynard, I may need a little help spelling Chattanooga. What? Well, I'm not sure how you spell Chattanooga. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I'm sorry, Miss Minnie. It's just that I find it rather humorous that you, a lady of letters, are unable to spell Chattanooga when in actuality everyone else of my entire acquaintance knows how to spell such a simple word. Fine. Then spell it for me. <laughs> Did I? Did I say Chattanooga? <laughs> that was stupid of me. I, actually, I was going to the house. H O W S. Oh, good boy. Get it, get it, get it. Uh -huh. H O L M. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> say, George, in your own opinion, why do you think they voted you male vocalist of the year? Well, I guess I was too ugly to be female vocalist of the year. <laughs> Oslo! Oslo who? Open the door, you great big handsome dummy. I don't know what they're doing, but I think they're doing it wrong. Knock, knock! Who's there? Oslo! Oslo who? Oslo and Cash, how about a loan? <laughs> doing looking in the mirror with your eyes closed. I'm just trying to see what I look like when I'm asleep. You've heard that, baby. Wake up. And talk some sense in this boy's head. Hell, Rod, will you quit a bothering your ma when I'm asleeping? You know what? Tell me something, Paul. What? What happens to your lap when you stand up? You see, that's kind of nonsense the boy has in his head. Well, now, look, don't be hard on him. How do you expect the boy to learn anything if he don't ask questions? Learn? Well, he's the only one in his class that uses a shaving brush and a mug. <laughs> Elra. 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 <laughs> Never mind crying. Tell your ma and me, how come you ain't finished school? You know, I think it's because that teacher in there is in love with me. In, in love, love with, with you? you. <laughs> you think that, Elrod? Well, she's kept me in her class now for six years. <laughs> Here is the Million Dollar Band.
so excited. Really? Somebody told me that Mary Ann said I was so, so handsome. Oh. Whoa. Really, Mary Ann? Sorry, mean? Roy, but what I actually said that you were so, so handsome. <laughs> You believe that awful rumor going around about Archie Campbell and that embarrassing thing that he did? Whoa. Of course I believe it. What was it? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Mel, let me tell you something. You know, I had the best time of my life working on that new film that you and Roy did, Uphill All the Way. Boy, that was great. Well, you did a great job, and I'll tell you one thing. You're going to be in the next one, too. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I probably shouldn't bring this up now, but I didn't want to bother you with it down there because you were busy and everything. But yeah. I was dissatisfied with my dressing room. It was too small. I, I, I couldn't move around or nothing. Really? Yeah. I had a big dressing room. I had a star on the door and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I just had a half moon on my door. That wasn't the dressing room. That was the outhouse. Oh! <laughs> hey, Roy. Uh-huh? I, I don't know if you're going to believe this or not. You play golf, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. I yeah. took a swing at one the other day, threw myself out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, there's a company got a ball out now. They've invented a golf ball, and I've got one of them that you cannot lose. I don't believe that. Oh. They ain't made a ball and I can't lose. Now, this one is guaranteed that you cannot lose it. Huh. Yes, sir. They'll give you $1,000 if you lose it. Golly, Archie, where'd you get it? I found it. <laughs> Lisa, if you refuse to marry me, I'll jump in the reservoir. But that's for drinking. Yeah, but I'm not only brokenhearted. I'm thirsty, too. <laughs> <laughs> Any man who thinks that marriage is a 50-50 proposition doesn't know the half of it. <laughs> Here's my friend, Melvin Tillis. Well, you tell me that you care, but now you're gone. You got me crying. No use tonight. You done me wrong If I could look inside your heart Then maybe I would know the reason That you were leaving Me all alone Well, you know it's not so When you say it's right Well, you know you lied I didn't do one wrong thing to you Won't you tell me, baby, why You went and left me here so lonely I miss you only For I love you Ever make you sad so you'd be mad enough to hurt me and desert me for so long? Well, you're telling everyone what you've done. You think it's funny? Well, listen, honey, you've done me wrong. Well, you know it's not so when you say it's right. Well, you know you lied. I didn't do one wrong thing to you. Won't you tell me, baby, why you? Lonely. I miss you only, for I love you. And you know it's not so when you say it's right, but well, you know you lied. I didn't do one wrong thing to you. Won't you tell me, baby, why you went and left me here so lonely? She won't be, for I love you. And now, here's George Strait.
to him of what I've got. I cool them down when they're small red hot. I'm the fireman. That's my name. She was ready to go, I'm the fireman, that's my name, they call me the fireman, that's my name, I'm making my rounds all over town, putting loud old flame, and everybody like to have what I got, I cool them down when they're smoldering hot, I'm the fireman, that's my name. your honorary is a kidnapper you should have seen what he did to me all right righty how do you plead uh between me and you and mr judge i, I plead not guilty not guilty yes well here's the arresting officer he uh, that's the guy you kidnap how can you plead not guilty because i ain't no kidnapper your honor well what are you then i'm an overcoat thief Overcoat thief. That's right. I stole Tim's overcoat. He just happened to be in it. <laughs> Eighteen. Forty-seven. Hello, Maynard. Hi, Mr. Gordon. Just a minute. Just a minute. Done. To the penny. Ah, good. You balanced the books. That's right, Mr. Gordon. Well, that's good. Now, uh, wait a second. It says here. You're eight hundred and seven dollars short. No, 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 no. It's eight hundred and seven dollars even. And I thought you said you balanced to the penny. Oh, the pennies are balanced, Mr. Gordon. It was the dollars I came out a little short on. Oh, you you keep my going. Now it's time for Misty's country bedtime stories. Once upon a time, there lived a man named Potter who had the magical ability to talk to the animals. Well, Potter was well known throughout the land. And one day, the sheriff came to visit him with a horse who had been used in a bank holdup. The sheriff asked Potter to ask the horse to identify the robbers. The horse said he would not be a stool pigeon. Potter tried every trick he knew, but the horse wouldn't break. Finally, Potter told the sheriff the horse wasn't about to rat on his former owners, the robbers. Frustrated, the sheriff rode off to find the bank robbers on his own. And the moral of the story is, you can lead a horse to Potter, but you can't make him think. <laughs> I am dumb. I am dumb. Well, here I am again, writing, I am dumb, I am dumb. All because the teacher asked me a silly question. She asked me, how many feet are in a yard? And I told her, that depends on how many people are in the yard. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and now, Roy Clark with the Wild Western Fancy.
still I can't be free Blue, stay away from me Blue, why don't you let I just saw your new movie, Uphill All the Way, and you are fantastic! You know, I wouldn't be a bit surprised this year if you don't walk off with an Oscar. Uh, I tried that last year, but the uh, security guards, well, they made me put it back. <laughs> Say, Roy, uh, you want to join us down at Lulu's Diner? No, the last time I ate there, they all laughed at me. Well, they'd have laughed at me, too, if I'd have had the steak on the wrong end of the fork. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tillis, um, well... What is it? <laughs> we were wondering if, um... Oh, Jackie, you Oh, asked. okay. We were wondering if you could take us to the drive-in to see your new movie. Well, girls, I do have a busy schedule, you know, being the, uh, the thespian that I am. <laughs> but I think I can squeeze y'all in. Oh! <laughs> Would you believe I can go through five books in one week? Yeah, if you mean checkbooks. <laughs> Green pepper stuff with hamburgers and rice, cold cold slaw and cucumber sliced, brown fluffy biscuits as light as the air, hot rhubarb pie. So pull up a chair. Yum! Yeah. Good body. Yes, sir. Come in here. Where's yes. my ice tea? I asked you for it over an hour ago. Well, I'm trying, but but doctor, you told me to sterilize everything, and but but every time I try to boil your ice cubes, they. Disappear. <laughs> Here are our own Hager brothers, Jim and John. I went. 
Say Hee Haw Live is part of Nashville on stage May 6th to October 2nd at Opryland. For information, call 1 800 535 0200. Yes. This has been a Gaylord production from Opryland, USA. That's all.